There have been changes made to a COVID-19 financial assistance program, which provides support to tenants, landlords, and utility companies. Yeah, this has been a very important program. Consumer investigator Steve Sprasha joins us now. And Steve, these changes should make things a lot easier for people to get help, right? Oh, that is the hope, gentlemen and ladies. The program is a year old today, and although it has had millions given out already to those affected by the pandemic, <clears throat> excuse me, it says there have been challenges in getting people to properly apply for the funds, so it's trying to simplify things. Both Raleigh and Wake County are providing federal funds to house Wake. The program has 90 million in federal aid available. To date, 20 million has been expended with another 1.6 million obligated for payment. As of last month, 2,376 households have been approved for funding. Funding for that program expires in September of 2025. I first told you about House Wake back in July when I intervened for a woman who had applied for funds four months earlier, but whose landlord hadn't received payments. They said, you know, in the beginning of June, you'll have money, you know, to my landlord within seven days. At the time, the county told us their third party vendor was having problems with people submitting the proper documentation in a timely manner. That's still the case. The county says 43% of current applicants can't move forward because they're missing required documentation. Now the program wants to make that easier. Applicants can now self-attest to their financial hardships by swearing under oath their information is true. What we are hoping is to cut down the typical 30 to 40 day time frame from start to finish down to just you know, a matter of 10 to 15 days. Approved applicants are now eligible for 18 months of financial support dating back to April 2020 and landlords will now be able to receive payments in bulk instead of on a month to month basis. So one of the things that we'll be doing is now making both the arrearage along with prospective rent payments all together in one payment. Um, so we're hoping that that cuts down on the amount of paperwork and documentation that uh, our accounts payable department is having to deal with. Now, starting tomorrow, the county will also add an online portal system to help applicants and landlords upload any necessary documentation as well as keep track of their applications. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher. All right.